Hi, it's Brie from All About the Notes, and today we're actually going to talk about uh, why people think being a musician is a dumb profession. And if you want to stay tuned for more music related videos, whether it's music theory or just talking about the industry, or maybe listen to some of my covers, then please subscribe. But let's get to it. All About the Notes. So, I basically remember the first time that someone told me that being a musician is a dumb profession. And it was in eighth grade and we were talking about what we wanted to do for our careers because we were thinking about, you know, high school and the classes that we might need to take so that way we could go on to those professional choices. And I remember saying, a musician, I want to be a musician. and. He was like, oh, you should really reconsider, you know, you're too smart for that. And I was like, what do you mean, like, being smart for that, too smart for that? And he's like, oh, well, you know, it's kind of for dumb people, you know, you should try something else. And so I remember having a doubt then about it. But now, being more a professional, I actually have realized that being a musician is actually for smart people and here are my reasons why. Number one, music theory. It is exactly that. It is a theories. It's almost like psychology and philosophy mixed together of trying to figure out why composers approach those techniques, what was going on in their mind when they made the music and why they did it at the time, if it was maybe for like political reasons or such. And this is just for four years. Well, technically we only did it in two. So that was in college. There's actually more, if you want to actually become a master or even a doctorate in music theory, then you can. And it actually approaches more of the theories part of it. Um, but it has, music has its own way of doing things. So for smart people, <laughs> number two, music laws. Now I have known so many people that did not know anything about copyright laws and they ended up copying somebody else's work and then they got sued and then they don't make it. Basically those people don't make it. So in order to end up making it as a musician, you know, as a living, you have to know your laws on music, like what you're getting paid, unions, there's a whole way of, there's a whole industry of it. And that brings me to my third point is, it's a business. Um, there is no way that a person can make it if they do not know their money together. There's no way they can retire if they don't know how to, you know, put away money and save. And it's a, I guess a hustle I would say but it's not really because that's their profession so if they join unions and they know where to look for gigs and they know where to go it's it's very complicated and honestly dumb people who do not know their business will not make it as a musician if they do not know it and this is a really good read if you actually want to know about your laws and also about starting your music business. If you don't want to read it, that's okay. We're going to go over it in, you know, this series. Um, number four would be patience. You know, musicians take so much time on perfecting the silliest things like that one note or that one word. I know many times I've just spent like an hour or more just trying to figure out do I want it to sound like da 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 or da da da. And people that are dumb do not have the time to do, like they don't have patience to do that. People that are smart are really thinking about every single little thing to make it sound perfect because you basically want things to perfection. Number five would be creativity. You know, some people are really good at math. Some people are really good at science. Well, some of us are just really good at creating something that nobody else has ever created before. And that is what we have to do every single time because we cannot run into copyright laws. Basically, we have to make our own thing that nobody has ever thought of 
on this planet. Seven billion people. We have to come up with something that no one else has thought of. That is very <laughs> for smart people. <laughs> and it, that is why they call our songs intellectual property. Intellectual. So the reason why I think that maybe some people out there think that being a musician is for dumb people is because of what we see. We see like, you know, Britney Spears shaving her head or, you know, Justin Bieber going to jail or something like that. And we assume that musicians must be stupid. Those people, I mean, they only make up maybe 5% of us. You know, they, we never talk about the other people that, the, the people that are in the background for those people, you know? Like, maybe Justin Bieber has like probably two or three managers. You know, most of those celebrities do have two, three managers and they have assistants and those people are all part of the music business. You know, the people that publish his songs, the people that are in the recording studio, the, pe the musicians that played the music in the background, the producers, we never talk about those people. And they are music professionals and sometimes even being paid more than somebody like Justin Bieber or Britney Spears. Those are the people that make it and stay in the long run in the industry. And those are people that are not dumb. They know what they're talking about. They know how to run a business. They know their laws. They know their music theory. They have the patience to perfect every little thing. And they are able to create things that nobody has ever come up with on this planet. So those are my reasons why being a musician is not for dumb people. It's actually for really smart people. Um, I hope you have a really nice day and Thank you for talking with me about this. So if you like to stay, have more content about music or music theory, or maybe just listen to some of my covers, then please subscribe below. But until then, see you next time.